Hello, Namaste, Salaam Alaikum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Warewa.com. Today I am going to show you a cabbage dish which has a fine influence of Mughalai. We are going to make cabbage kofta in a nice yogurt sauce. To make this cabbage dish, first what we need to do is we need to half cook the cabbage because you want the cabbage to be soft that you can convert into nice koftas. So to make it soft, we are going to slightly boil it. I have taken a small pan, add little bit water and then add finely chopped cabbage. Look at this, how finely I chopped them. I also boiled some chana dal. You should see this chana dal is uh, almost 70% cooked. So I am going to add this also and cover it. So now let this both steam together. And we are going to let it cook for at least 5 minutes till the cabbage is very soft and this chana dal also is cooked. You want this cabbage and chana dal to be very well cooked, especially the cabbage. Because if it is not well done, you know, when you make into koftas and fry, the koftas can break. So you want this cabbage to be very soft and cooked. And then we will squeeze out all the water before we convert them into beautiful koftas. Add these vegetables inside a muslin cloth. And then, you know, we are going to squeeze out the water. Hmm. I have got one more tray underneath this. Now I squeezed out all the water. Don't throw away this water. We are going to save this and use it in the sauce. And uh, here I have got my cabbage and chana dal. You know, we are going to make nice koftas with this. Add pinch of shahi jeera, that is black cumin. Add little bit of green chili. Salt. Little bit of chili powder. Pinch of uh, basin, that is a gram flour. Okay, this will act as a binding. And then just mix up everything. Now you can see that this mixture is good. It's become like a dough. So now make it into small balls. Okay. These balls we are going to fry and use as koftas. If you have noticed, I have used very little dal. I used almost uh, half a cabbage, but around 3 teaspoons of uh, chana dal. Now these koftas are ready. Just put it into oil. Do not fry it at a hot flame. Use very slow flame. So that these koftas will get nicely cooked when you fry them. Okay. Okay. Do not uh, mix this until unless you get nice little bit brown color. Otherwise, they will break very easily. And then the, when the koftas are ready, just remove them. Okay. Now, let's make this gravy for this uh, koftas. Add little bit oil. Add shai jeera a little bit. And then add some onions. And some salt. You know, for this preparation, you want this onion to be slightly brown. And then we are going to add some yogurt and all the spices and make a nice yogurt sauce. Add a little bit of uh, turmeric. Add half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. When the ginger garlic paste is nicely cooked, add this water that we squeezed out from the cabbage and the chana dal. Add chili powder, add coriander powder, and a little bit of cumin powder, okay. and uh, take some yogurt, mix it well, and then add to this. Okay. And uh, this is going to become a nice gravy. All we need to do is bring it to a nice boil, you know, add seasoning. And then when the sauce looks right, if you want to add a little thickening, I have a little bit cashew nut powder. We are going to add it in the last and then we are going to add the koftas. See, you can see a little bit froth. Even this froth will disappear. That's when you know this uh, nice gravy is cooked. Okay. Now I am going to add some cashew nut powder. All I did is took some uh, fried cashew nut, made into fine powder. And then we are going to add this into this. See, what this is going to do is it's going to thicken the sauce. 
Now, if you notice, this sauce is very watery, but uh, this cashew nut powder is going to thicken this sauce really nice. Now, this sauce is slightly thickened and it got a nice saucy consistency. All I am going to do is add some mint powder. You know, if you have a little bit mint, just dry it up and you can use for such kind of preparations. So, instead of kasturi methi, we are adding mint uh, to this dish. Bring this sauce to a very nice consistency, not thick, slightly thinner because once we add kofta, this sauce also can get a little thicker. So, the sauce is all ready. So, I am going to add the koftas and uh, do not mix it too much, just uh, make sure that these uh, koftas soak in this sauce mm -hmm. and uh, reduce the flame and uh, finish it off with some coriander leaf. You know, this sauce is ready. Let me try this. These koftas literally melt in the mouth. Wow. What a gravy, what a taste, what flavors, nice mint, the chana dal, the cabbage. There are so many nice flavors in this. When you try this, you will have a very pleasant surprise that a cabbage and little chana dal can make a dish so tasty. So, dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this wonderful cabbage koftas with your washa. But remember, Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.